Hi and welcome to learn regular expressions in 5 minutes. We're going to start with some really simple regular expressions. Something that you probably have seen a few times are those two slashes um, with, with some weird code in here and then uh, something like test, whoops, not text, test, and then a string, let's say foo. Now, since we were on the um, Chrome Developer Tools here, we're writing JavaScript. So what this does is, the regular expression is on the left side, and test is a function which validates the given string against the given regular expression. So let's start with this very simple regex. The probably simplest one is just a dot. So let's hit return, and it says true. So um, this had validated the string foo against the regex dot. Dot simply means that um, means anything. It can be a character, it can be a number, uh, anything. Okay. Um, and what you also sometimes probably see are flags behind those regular expressions. Um, can be an i, can be a g. Now what this does is um, i means that we're going to use um, case sensitivity here, which means, um, let's say we want to use a regex like f, and we don't want um, case sensitivity, and we give the string f, it will return false. This one's uppercase and this one's lowercase. Um, but if we add the flag i, it will validate to true because it will ignore the um, cases. Another thing which is quite important is escaping. Now we have the regex for a dot before, right? So dot can be anything, but what if you actually want to validate against a dot? Let's say uh, you want to check if this is an actual dot. Um, this is not going to work. Well, it does validate to true, but you can uh, pretty much add anything, it will still validate to true. So what we want is escaping. Um, and it's quite simple, as in many other languages, you just type in a backslash, and now it will um, not validate against everything, but against the dot. So this is true, and if I type in anything else, then a dot, it will validate against false. Another important thing are character sets. Um, character sets are those regular expressions that you see that are within uh, square brackets. So let's type in test foo. Now, character sets mean that anything you type here, like let's say ABC, um, we want at least um, one of these characters exist in our string. So let's return and it says false because we don't have uh, A, B or C within our string. So I'm gonna replace O with an A, so we have an A now, and I will return, and it will validate against true. Now we can expand this to um, any any letter in the alphabet, for example, A to Z. Uh, so we're gonna trust this, and it's true, because F, O, and A are all letters. Let's replace this with some numbers and it will say false because um, obviously one, two, three are not letters. Keep in mind that this uppercase and lowercase uh, part has a meaning. Um, so not currently it will validate against all upper and lowercase characters. Um, yeah, so that's just something you have to keep in mind. If you would like to validate against numbers, you can simply go for a zero to nine and now it will validate to true. Next, we're going to check how many times a character should be repeated. So let's uh, go for the letter A and let's say you want it exactly once and test it and that works. Um, let's say you want it at least once but can be happen multiple times. We can use this and obviously this works as well. Now, uh, one comma is equivalent to the star asterisk. So um, if we go like this, this still validates to true. 
So this and this is the same. And if we want uh, a minimum and a maximum, let's say we want between one and two repetitions, then we can test against this. So we have at least one occurrence. If we omit it, it will obviously go to false because we, at least, at le we need at least one repetition. And if we go to oops, uh, AA, it still works. Okay, let's check how we can avoid certain characters. Um, let's say we don't want the character A. So uh, let's test this. And this obviously validates against true. Now, if you don't want the character, you go like this and see now it's false. And if I test against some string which doesn't have an A in it, it will validate to true. Something that you probably will see very often is the flag G, something like this. Um, and you have some, um, some regular expression. Let's say we want to search for the term foo. Now, G searches for, or stands for globally, which means um, it, if you omit the G, the search engine will stop after it has found the first occurrence. Normally this is not a problem, but if you, for example, want to replace a string with another string, then uh, you'd want to have this replacement happen multiple times and not just once. So let's see this in an example. Let's say we have a string like this and we call replace on it and we want to replace the string foo against bar, okay? So what is it done now? It has searched for the first occurrence of foo and replaced it with bar, obviously. Now, what if you want both foos to be replaced? In this case, we simply add the G and it will replace both occurrences within our string. Okay, for the end of this video, I would like to give you some homework. So if you want, try out to create a regular expression for an email address. Don't cheat, don't use Google. Um, type your regular expressions into the comments here or send me a tweet through Twitter and we'll see you wins. And as always, if this video was helpful to you, click on the like button. If you would like to see more videos of this kind, subscribe and see you in the next video.